Hi, I'm Peter Kalmstrom of Kalmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about creating links with images. As you might have seen in previous demonstrations in this series, I've created a bunch of links in this page. But as you see, they're rather boring. And of course, you can do everything that you could do in a regular web page to make these more beautiful. You can change the formatting, you can insert a table, you can do all kinds of things. But maybe the most effective one and the most commonly used on the web is to use images instead. There are several ways of doing that. I'll start with the simplest one. And most likely you have PowerPoint installed on your computer. And PowerPoint is actually really good at creating buttons and nice looking images. So I'm just going to remove this default stuff here. And then I'm going to insert a button-like object here, which is under the shape. And here's a bunch of different shapes. So I have this one here. And just do a small little button here. And uh, I'm just going to add some text to that by right-clicking and doing Edit Text. And just do Documents like that. And now I can just format this by using all of the different tools here. There are a bunch of different predefined formats. This one has a bit of 3D on it. So once you're happy with this in PowerPoint, you can just go ahead and right-click the button again and save as picture. And here I'm going to select button 3 on that one. We did a couple of other test ones before. And then I can simply upload that image, picture here, from computer. And of course that gets moved into the site assets library. So button 3. And there we go. And here of course I can select the size of this. And then I can just insert a link to that. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy the link to my document library there. And insert a link from address. Now here it's very important not to type anything in text to display because that will actually remove the image button that I just did there. There we go. And now I can just save the page and I have a nice looking button here that allows me to go to the document library. And that works. So that's a quick intro to using image links in SharePoint. Thank you for watching this demonstration and make sure to look at the other demonstrations in this series also.